My name's Jane Stout. I'm Senior Lecturer in the School of Natural Sciences and Director of the Trinity Centre for Biodiversity Research. Uh, I'm interested in how we humans, uh, how our behaviour, our societies, the way we manage our land, how that affects plants and animals uh, and their interactions and the functioning of ecosystems. So I'm interested in how things like what crops we grow, how we uh, manage our agricultural practices, the different species we introduce into new areas, how these things affect uh, both individual plants and animals um, and how it affects the composition of communities of plants and animals, so which species are present, which ones aren't there, how common they are, how rare they are, etc. And then how these communities, how members of these communities interact with one another. My work focuses on interactions between plants and the insects that visit their flowers to collect nectar and pollen, uh, and so they act as pollinators for these plants. Most of my, my work has focused on bees. I have a particular fondness for bumblebees, uh, but I'm also interested in other flower visiting insects like hoverflies and butterflies. And these insects are really important for many plants. Most plant species uh, benefit from interactions with uh, vi uh, flower visiting animals um, so that they can become pollinated, become fertilised and, and produce seeds. And so this is really important not only for wild plants but also for an awful lot of crop species as well. And so there's been a lot of interest recently in how bees and other flower visitors have declined both across Europe but also globally um, and the effect this will have on the production of crops um, and so people have become interested in the economic value of uh, pollination to human enterprises. So my work aims to understand both what's driving these declines in bees and other pollinators, but also the effects this will have on plant pollination and on the wider ecosystem. Uh, and so I work at the small scale, uh, both in the lab and in the field, looking at uh, individuals, uh, but also uh, on the large scale, because bees are very mobile, they can fly a long way, they're influenced by the wider landscape. So I work on a larger scale in the field as well. So, for example, one of the projects we're working on at the moment is looking at how naturally occurring uh, secondary plant compounds, which are toxic, uh, which can occur in the nectar, how these toxic compounds can affect uh, insects, particularly bees, how it can inf affect their behaviour, their survival. Um, and another project is looking at how the composition of the, the wider landscape, so the, the area surrounding farms, uh, the different fields, the different crops that are being grown, how this affects both the communities and the populations of insects within those fields, but also the pollination services um, that those insects provide to both hedgerow plants, wild plants uh, and crops. Ultimately, my research is important for understanding these complex ecological interactions and for the conservation and management of pollinators, both to ensure sustainable agriculture in the future, but also to help maintain healthy ecosystems.